Yasuo is one of the most loved and hated champions in League of Legends, for obvious reasons. He has an almost non-existent skill ceiling, which basically means you can never stop improving and there is a way to outplay almost any situation. He has an insane amount of mobility and one of the best utility abilities in the game with his wind wall. That ability can single-handedly win fights and games, but it can be daunting to think about picking up Yasuo as one of your mains since he's harder than most champions. Well, don't worry because today we're going to be teaching you everything you need to know to play like a Yasuo main from the start, starting with the basics, then moving to the most advanced techniques possible. We're going to start off with Yasuo's playstyle, then moving to power spikes, combos, tips and tricks, and then finally runes build and skill order. So let's jump right into Yasuo's playstyle. A lot of players think of Yasuo as purely a team fighting half bruiser, half assassin, but he actually has the luxury of being great in a side lane too if team fights are too difficult to play or your team is too far behind. When Yasuo is ahead, he's almost impossible to beat 1v1, and he has no resources like mana or energy to keep track of. He is definitely still a team fighting monster though, especially if your team has AoE knockups like Malphite or Nami Wave. Knowing when to group or split is one of the harder parts of playing Yasuo, and is something you learn over time. Also, your team doesn't need to have knockups for you to lock in Yasuo. This is a common mistake with Yasuo players, where they focus too hard on letting their teammates set up the knockup for him to ult, but sometimes it's better to set it up yourself so you don't have to rely on teammates. Another great thing about Yasuo is his laning phase. He snowballs very, very hard and can win or go even in almost any matchup. If he gets ganked, he always has the tools to survive or turn it and win 1v2. His mid and late game are very, very good since he scales with crit items like an ADC, so he doesn't fall off like traditional bruisers are supposed to. He just gets more and more damage as the game goes on. Alright, now let's get into Yasuo's power spikes. His first power spike comes at level 2 when Yasuo skills E. No other champion unlocks an ability that gives them near infinite mobility like this. This is especially useful versus mages. Here we have Yasuo versus Malzahar. Yasuo doesn't touch the wave much at level 1 because he wanted Malz to push to him. Malzahar hits level 2 first, so Yasuo waits to hit level 2 as well and stacks up a tornado while doing so. Then when he levels up, he dashes through a minion autos the mouse, then dashes through him and knocks him up with his EQ. He makes sure to move forward after each auto so he can't get away from him, then hits Malzahar with an auto into Q and ignite to finish him off for the kill. This kind of play can be made against almost any mage, especially if they disrespect when you have a tornado ready like the mouse did. The next power spike is at level 6. Yasuo has the luxury of having a really short cooldown on his ult compared to other champions. For example, Yasuo's ult cooldown is 80 seconds at rank 1, whereas Diana's ult is 100 seconds and Zed's is 120 seconds. This means you can basically just use Yasuo ult to get a big chunk of the enemy mid, which would make them have to recall or farm in an unsafe position. For the next power spike, it's when Yasuo gets his first item, which is Berserker's Greaves. This item is an insane spike for the Wind Brothers and it only costs 1100 gold. The attack speed drops your Q cooldown from 4 to 3, which is a big deal as you'll get way more Qs out in an all-in. After this, Yasuo has his Shield Boat Power Spike which truly makes him an insane duelist. Assassins don't have the damage to kill you through the shield and your attack speed makes your Q cooldown almost as low as it can go, leading to fast setups with minion waves. And finally, the last big power spike for Yasuo is when he gets Infinity Edge, because that's when he will have 100% crit. Every auto and every Q will crit, so obviously that's a massive increase in DPS. Now let's talk about a few combos for Yasuo. The first one is simple, but very effective, the Q Flash. Abilities with cast times can be buffered with Flash, like Ari Charm. With Yasuo, you can press Q, then Flash like this, and he will start casting it before the Flash, making it very hard to react to. This is even more effective when used with Yasuo's Tornado. By using Q first then Flash, it makes this Tornado much easier to hit on the Silas, so Yasuo can secure the 600 gold shutdown. Your Tornado will always travel where your mouse was when you first press Q before the Flash. Now we're going to get into the fancier and more advanced combos. They will all take a little bit of practice in the practice tool if you want to do them consistently, but they aren't that hard. This first one is EQ Flash and is something you use pretty often to set up bigger knockups on more important targets. 
The trick here is to flash while using your EQ spin when Tornado is ready. Instead of throwing a tornado out on your third Q, which is linear and easily dodgeable, by using E and Q at the same time, your Q hits everything around Yasuo. So by flashing in the middle of your dash right before you press Q and spin, you can reposition the spin. Not only does this let you take advantage of targets that are clumped up, but it catches them off guard as they will never see it coming. Alright, the next one is a combo that will really take your Yasuo to the next level, but it's the hardest combo to pull off. When your Q cooldown is as low as it can get, which is 1.3 seconds, you can knock up a target, then use E and Q on a different target before ulting. By pressing R before your Q animation begins, you will hit the target you ult with your Q and get a stack while in the air, even though your ult is supposed to remove any stacks you had previously. Then you use Q again as you come down from your ult, and you already have another tornado ready. So not only does this combo give you more burst damage on the target that you ult, but it lets you have another tornado ready almost instantly for another knockup. If you struggle with the combo, the main issue most people have is you delay your ult too long. You want to knock them up, press EQ on another target, and before you start spinning from the EQ, use ult. If you spin before ulting, it won't work. You can do this anytime you go to ult someone. So in rare circumstances, you can combine the EQ flash combo we talked about with this one. You would EQ flash on the target you want to ult, then EQ that same target or a different one, it doesn't matter, then ult. All right, now let's move on to the tips and tricks. We got quite a few important ones here. The first is that you want to be auto attacking in between every single Q or E that you do and animation canceling the auto attacks. Watch McBay's in the all in on Malzahar from earlier. He dashes to the first minion with E, then auto attacks the Malzahar, and as soon as the damage is applied, cancels the auto animation with his E and Q. Then, as he goes to finish him, he autos, then Q again. This becomes a little harder to do once you get more attack speed, but it's very important and will make a big difference in your gameplay since you will be putting out optimal DPS. The next trick is more knowledge than trickery with how Yasuo's ult works with towers. It will always automatically put you outside of tower range if possible, like in this clip. This makes you able to dive easily if they are too far up. Moving on to a really important trick now, which is an intentional bug on Yasuo, where you can still use your EQ combo as long as your Q cooldown is 0.5 seconds or less. Alright, this next tip is for wherever you go to ult someone and can't do the combo we talked about earlier. When you knock them up, you can always fit in one auto attack before pressing your ult. Then as you come down, you want to press Q again since the animation gives your Q enough time to come off cooldown and they won't be able to dodge it unless they flash or have some sort of instant mobility. This next trick is specifically for level 1 and 2. If you're against anything that might be able to pressure you this early and make it dangerous for you to walk up for CS, you can walk over to Raptor's Pit, use Q in this spot, then the Raptors will come around the corner so you can use Q one more time and use the tornado to grab last hits from a distance. These last two tips and tricks go hand in hand. The first is that your wind wall gives vision, so you can use your wind wall to get vision of raptors to jump to them and escape ganks or farm them or whatever reason it may be. And the second is that you can slide over walls with Yasuo E if you make sure you're right next to the jungle monster. If you struggle doing this, use the target champions only keybind so that you don't misclick the jungle mobs. For example, at Raptors, you can walk right here with targets champs only, then disable it and press E and you will always go through the wall. Alright, let's wrap everything up with runes, builds, and skill order. For runes, you'll want to be running a page like this with Conqueror, Triumph, and Legend Alacrity. Your secondary page is optional, but we recommend these two. With Ingenious Hunter, your shield bow cooldown goes from 90 seconds to 60, which is super nice since you're much weaker when it's not up. For items, you'll want to rush Berserker's Greaves, then Shield Bow. After Shield Bow, you normally want to go into Infinity Edge, but if they have a lot of healing, you can go into Mortal Reminder, which is a faster power spike, just not as strong. Either way, your two core items are Shield Bow and Infinity Edge. After those, it's situational. If they have heavy magic damage, you go Wit's End. If they have heavy AD, Death Stance. If they have mixed damage, a GA is good or a Bloodthirster. And lastly, Skill Order. You start with Q at level 1, then E at level 2, then W at level 3, and Max in that order as well. Now, what you find here on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to unlock your true potential, then you need to dive into SkillCap.com. We have the largest catalog of League of Legends guides in the entire world with over 1,500 guides and 350 unique courses. You get brand new guides every week exclusive to our website. 
along with our smurf commentaries where our challenger experts walk you through how to carry out of the exact rank you're stuck in. Still unsure? Well, you can have all your questions answered by those same challenger experts. Need one-on-one -on -one coaching? We got you covered with hand-picked coaches trained to the highest standard. Don't have time for that? Use Direct Pro, pick a past game you played, and within 24 hours get a personalized video from a top 100 challenger player breaking down exactly what you can do better. The best part? All of this comes with a rank improvement guarantee. If you don't climb at least 5 divisions while actively using Skillcap, you can claim a refund, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Head to Skillcap.com and get the rank you've always wanted. Link in the description below. Alright guys, so that's everything you need to know to play Yasuo like Yasuo main from the start. Some of these things will take time and practice to do consistently, but the payoffs are huge if you put in the work.